Okay, so it is Sunday night, six o'clock, and tonight we are talking about coriander. So this is our A to Z series, um, and I'm Tamara with Our Big Oily Family. Um, if you're watching the replay, great, yay! Um, and then every Sunday night, six o'clock, we're here. Next Sunday will be cumin. Ooh, ooh yummy. Um, so yeah, about 10 or 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes if, I have a, if I'm really long-winded. Um, and we just kind of talk about how to use uh, the specific oil and different recipes you can use it in, cooking, diffusing, aromatic stuff, all that stuff. So as usual, I start by reading from the Emotions and Essential Oils book. So coriander is considered the oil of loyalty, uh, specifically loyalty to oneself. The person in need of coriander oil may be trapped in a cycle of serving others while neglecting their own needs. They may also have a strong need to do what is right or correct. Often the mind's perspective of the right way is too limited and seen only from one perspective. Coriander reminds individuals that there is more than one way to do something and that fitting in often requires betraying the true self. Coriander moves the individual from doing things for the acceptance of others to honoring and living from the true self. There are as many ways of being as there are people in the world. Each soul must learn its own way of living and being. Coriander gives courage to step out of the box and risk being who one really is. I think I need to use this oil a little more often. <laughs> Coriander teaches that each individual is a gift to the world with something unique, which no one else has to offer. Only we can be and express our uniqueness. Loyalty to the self means living in connection with what one spirit urges and directs. Coriander shifts individuals from needing others' acceptance to honoring and living from the true self. So the emotions addressed are controlled by others, self-betrayal, drudgery and conforming and the companion oils the companion oils are the ones that um if this doesn't speak exactly to like maybe what emotion you're going through the companion oils um are ones that you want to check out to see if maybe that's more closely what you're going through emotionally so the companion oils are frankincense cilantro lavender roman chamomile and uh zendocrine which is the detoxification blend all righty so, on to my other notes here, and I'm going to share my screen, so hang on. Share your screen. Really pretty graphic from doTERRA. There we go. So, as it says there, this comes from the seed. Um, it's from the same plant that produces um, cilantro, essential oil. And cilantro comes from the leaves, and coriander comes from the seed of the same plant. Um, and it's an annual herb. Uh, it's highly aromatic plant that has many uses. So cilantro is extracted from the leaves of the plant while coriander seeds provide a different oil. Use coriander. Um, both the leaves and the seeds are commonly used in cooking for their aroma and flavor. It is steam distilled, like it says there. Uh, the main constituents are linalool, apinine, y-terpenine, and camphor. Linalool is a monoterpene alcohol known for its toning properties. Um, there's a recently published study, it was in March of 2016. Uh, Colombian researchers conducted a preliminary preclinical study examining the effects of ingesting linalool for three months. Memory was then assessed in several different tests. Uh, ingested linalool was associated with promoting improvements in learning, memory, and overall cognitive health. Not surprisingly, ingesting linalool also helped improve measures of emotional health. Um, linalool has also been known to contribute to the relaxation of blood vessels, which is helpful when the body's at rest. Uh, Coriander is found in the digestive blend, um, digestion, which is awesome, oh my goodness. Um, safety for this oil, you can use it neat. Um, I would always just suggest if you're going to use it topically to um, use it with a little bit of carrier oil, it'll spread over a bigger area. Um, and down at the bottom of the graphic there, you can see that you can use it aromatically, topically, and internally. And their essential oil tip there is to utilize coriander while cooking for a warm, spicy flavor. Uh, blends well with ginger, clove, peppermint, and wintergreen. So coriander oil is commonly used internally to aid in digestion. Again, that's why it's probably in the uh, digestion blend. You can add two to three drops in a veggie cap 
and then fill the rest of the veggie cap with um, like your curry oil, like olive oil or, or I have avocado oil. Um, and then put the two pieces together and then you can take it internally. Um, it's great to use for a massage. Uh, after working out, you can apply one to two drops of coriander with fractionated coconut oil to the legs. It's a nice massage. Uh, you can apply one to two drops with fractionated coconut oil to the back of your neck or bottom of your feet to promote relaxation at the end of a long day or as you get ready for bed. Uh, it says chefs uh, for years have used many parts of the coriander plant, including the seeds, to add flavor and spice to a variety of meals. Coriander oil can provide a warm, spicy flavor, which makes it a favorite for many dishes. So you can add a drop of coriander to your favorite curry recipe um, for an extra burst of flavor. And it does smell really good. It says on here the aromatic description is green, sharp, and herbaceous. It, just, it smells really good. I want to try it. I have a diffuser blend that I'll put in the comments um, so you can try it. But um, it, just, it I really like it. Where was I? So you can add it to your favorite curry dish for an extra burst of flavor. And then there's a recipe that I will post in the comments again um, for steamed shellfish. It's on the doTERRA blog. Um, and it's steamed shellfish and, shellfish and Asian broth. Um, so I'll post the link to that recipe in the comments for you. Um, so here's, here's one of the diffuser blends. You can add three drops of coriander, two drops of peppermint, and two drops of balance, which is the grounding blend, uh, for a calming and uplifting aroma. It's a good blend to diffuse around the home when you want to promote a positive attitude and a calming atmosphere. I'll check that one out tomorrow. Uh, there's a spring diffuser blend. It has three drops of balance, two drops of wintergreen, and one drop of coriander. It says, this is the perfect blend to create a green, refreshing aroma in your bedroom, office, or any area that could use a bit of a spruce. Uh, it says it also blends well with Slim and Sassy, which is the metabolic blend which I can see because Slim and Sassy, you know, is great for helping to reduce cravings and kind of curb your appetite. And so the coriander would help with your digestion in that aspect. Um, lavender essential oil is the most chemically similar essential oil to coriander. Um, these two oils share several, several of the same chemical constituents, which means they share many of the same benefits. So if you're out of lavender, um, you can find similar soothing benefits from coriander oil for the skin, the body, and relaxation. Uh, you can promote healthy insulin levels by combining it with um, Slim and Sassy, the metabolic blend, or cinnamon. And to help with body odor, you can take internally or in a capsule. Um, probably would be really good if you make your own um, DIY deodorant. You could add that, add coriander. And then emotional balance to get from apprehensive to participating, you can apply topically or diffuse it into the air. So maybe one of those diffuser recipes would be good for that. So that is all I have in my notes. I'm going to stop sharing my screen and unmute. Let's see, here we go. Susan, you got anything with coriander oil? Have you used it for anything? No, I haven't. I just, so, I mean, I've had it open and smelled it before, but no, I haven't. But I'm going to try to do it with something, maybe with a, with a uh, squash or a pumpkin, something. There you go. That's Seems like it should work with that. If you do, put it in the, put it in the comments of the, of the replay. I'm going to go um, see what I've got on, see what I have on. I like it. It smells very good. <laughs> yeah. So I'm definitely going to give one of the uh, diffuser recipes a try. So if you are watching the replay and you have used coriander oil um, in a specific way or in a diffuser recipe or cooked with it, please post your recipe in the comments so we can all benefit. Um, like I said, next Sunday we are going to talk about cumin essential oil. And uh, cumin comes in the, um, what is it, the spring... What is it called? No, the summer, summer's sensational. It's not sensational. It's sensational or something like that. The kid oh, that, it has dill special. and yeah, experiment in it. Um, yeah. I think it's in like the while supplies last or something in the back office to order. But um, great oil to have. And we will talk about that next Sunday. So have a great rest of your Sunday night. And we'll see you next Sunday, 6 o'clock. Bye-bye.
Thank you.